welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christine. I'm a Florida girl living in London. It is Friday and I've been home all week because I was sick. I was sick. I had COVID. I was quarantining myself for a while. I didn't have much to film or anything. So this is the first sit down one in quite a while. We'll see what I get up to this weekend. It's going to be largely a photo weekend. I have so many places I want to see to basically ramp up my website and the photos that I have on Instagram. I've gotten so much better, I feel. I'm really happy with my output. Last night, um, we had a bit of a party, an internal party at my house because my roommate was feeling a bit bad and I wanted to just do something nice for her. So I got a bottle of Prosecco and some nice treats and um, their significant others came over. It was a little bit of a soiree, un petit soiree. Yeah, it was just unexpected on a random Tuesday. But then tonight, I'm going to this bookstore that turns into a live music venue. I'm looking forward to that. I'm, I'm so excited. And I'm going with the girls that I went to Helsinki with. And then Saturday, Sunday, just catching up with friends and out and about around town so we will see what i get up to okay so i finished work for the day and i'm going to head out and meet up with some friends at this place as i mentioned earlier called morocco bound and i'm so excited i have no idea what to expect yeah i'm really excited to just get out of central london not be central london focused for one night so we'll see what we get up to hungover like I'm not I'm a little delicate this morning it's so cool got to listen to some artists one is pastiche I think the other one is called girl but it's spelled g-r-w-l really good I think their friends were out supporting so it was really nice to see it's like a really supportive atmosphere I think so now I'm off to Hampstead area Camden Hampstead area for an afternoon of architecture I'm going to this housing estate that is almost as famous as Barbican. I'm excited to go. I hope I can take pictures. I think I can, but it's like people live there, you know? I'm just eating salmon, avocado, and rice, like I usually do. We're gonna head out to Hampstead. And as I am a National Trust member, I've got my book, handbook, 2022 handbook. So we'll see what it says. To Willow Road, page 201. To Willow Road. This late 1930s house, an architect's vision of the future, paints a vivid picture of the creative and social circles of Erno and Ursula Goldfinger. Today, you can explore the original intimate and evocative interiors, innovative designs, intriguing personal possessions, and impressive 20th century art collection. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. There's a lot of other properties that um once they open for spring there's a lot they're closed for this the winter but they're opening up from this month march so excited to go see that and we're going to go check it out when they do open so let's get going try to tell her i know i feel it keep me floating i'm on my bed slow me down when i'm in so I just came from the house to Willow Road and actually I'm not allowed to take a photo or video because of copyright on some existing artwork which is a shame because it was truly a special place. I would have spent so much time in there getting, taking pictures because it was just so, so captures like 1930s modernism so well and basically the architects 
Um, they both passed away within a few years of each other in the late 80s and then the National Trust took it over in the early 90s and it's been preserved that way ever since. They tried to keep it as it was literally um, and it was just stunning honestly. It's been a really chill day so far. I was worried because I was like running around the city um, trying to capture things here and there. I don't feel as stressed out as I thought I would be, thankfully. I just feel also that there's just like so much that I could enjoy in the meantime. Like I'm going to meet up with a new friend later, but in the meantime I'll read one of my books that I'm reading, Sula by Toni Morrison, and then between her and meeting up with my other friend, I will go to Chinatown because I'll be nearby and get some cheap dumplings. I think that'd be cool. So, you know, I was kind of lamenting like, oh, I wish I was home so I could finish packing because I'll be gone for a week and a half and um, like get started on editing and finish my blog post and this and that, the other, plan my sister's bachelorette. But I'm actually trying to enjoy just being out and about right now because I won't be in London for another week and a half. summer so that's what I remember from my visit but then prior to that I think it was two years before that so I have not been here in a long time I'm not ever out east this far <laughs> we are going to the painted hall today to take some photos <laughs> I say this all the time. I don't know how this vlog is gonna turn out. I had so many plans for things that sort of just didn't pan out. I don't know. I'm a little disappointed in myself, I think. Just like being a little bit burnt out to the point where I'm like neglecting my relationships. It's like I'm trying to pack in so much, but then I get like really exhausted and tired by everything. So then it makes me cancel on others. 
So I feel like I'm not really being a good friend right now and I just need to cool it. I think when I started this channel, I always, I wanted to pack in so much because I'm not here during the week. And so over on my weekends, I wanted to pack in as much as I could, but now it's kind of being a little bit counterproductive because I'm not able to physically, energetically do as much as I planned on. It's a bit discouraging, I guess. You really have to take time for yourself because things can fall by the wayside if you just don't have energy. If you're not looking after yourself, I mean, it affects all aspects of your life, your relationships, your job, just things like that. So I'm gonna try to readjust how I go about creating content these days. Um, it's probably going to be something where I don't have to upload every day on TikTok. I don't have to upload every day on Instagram. Um, I like creating for YouTube. I like editing and all that stuff. And I'm really enjoying my new website that should be launched by the time you see this. Um, so I'm, I'm enjoying doing all those things. I just think that getting content for the sake of just like uploading because it's part of the schedule, I cannot do it anymore. I am not reaching for a specific number. I'm just trying to be consistent, but I also like want to make sure that it's good quality. So yeah, if that means that I'm not uploading every day, then that's just how it's going to be. Next weekend, I'm going to York. I'm going to spend the weekend in York and have a vlog on that. I have to see about my upload schedule for YouTube as well. It's starting to look like, at least for now, I can't turn around things as quickly as I thought I would. I mean, it could be something where I just like hire help essentially hire outside help to edit my videos so i could have quick turnaround but it's looking like twice a month now instead of weekly anyway i have a train to catch i'm heading back up north i'm so excited for this week and this weekend we'll see what i get up to in new york that's it for this week i will catch you next time bye